Hello guys, uh, AMK here. Today let's learn about how to create topo surface from AutoCAD drawing in Revit. Here I am using Imperial template. Let's open DWG topo surface file. We can get uh, these drawings from the surveyor. Oh, it's block levels and control drawing, base drawing and detail drawing. Let's check the drawing ones. Make sure uh, your contour lines should be at different heights and uh, layered like this. Uh, let's check with uh, base drawing. Here you can find the floor heights like this. And uh, this is block level and control drawing. Among these three drawings, uh, we required detail drawing. Let's extract this drawing as a block. To extract, you have to type W block. So select the objects which are you want. And uh, select one base point also. So that you can set the survey base point here and we'll save this at desktop as topo surface make sure to set your units as meters because the drawing is the dwg file is in meters And I'm going to open the topo surface block. Yeah, this is the one. So we separated the detail drawing from those three drawings. Now I'm going to move this towards the coordinate point. So I'm placing at 0, 0, 0. So that what happen your uh, project base point will be exactly at 0, 0, 0. So this considered as a zero level in Revit drawing also. So let's save this again. Let's open a Revit project. Here we'll insert the DWG file. Go to topo surface and make sure to set the units as meters. Open. Yeah. Here we'll check the survey base point. See, it is exactly located at the given coordinate point, and everything is zero here. We'll check this in 3D. Yes, everything is good. Uh, your contour lines should be in different layers. So only we can select contour lines separately. So go to the site and here go to massing and site and uh, go to topo surface. Here create from import, select import instance. Here import instance is DWG. Deselect all the remaining layers. We need only contour layers. So I'm deselecting all ones and I select only ES major and ES minor because they are the elevation heights of the contours. You can see the 3D view of the turbo surface. It is created exactly like the AutoCAD file. Contours are very clear. We'll change the material now. So I need grass. 
click on new material now go to identity change the name as crash now go to asset browser here you go for appearance library site work grass high quality and give apply give ok and again apply now change into realistic mode yes let's hide the dwg file you can see the clear 3d view of the topo surface now we'll fix a section box for this yes. to set the section box so type bx and move the arrows like this so that you will get a rectangular shape or topo surface like this we'll increase the depth yes now we'll hide the section box let's create flat surface on this undulated surface that we use dwg file and go to building pad option and pick the line select the boundary lines of the flat surface give ok so this has created now i'm going to create another one uh, make sure that uh, to complete the polyline so that uh, you'll get a flat surface every time you have to create a new building pad and you have to select again and again for each individual surfaces as a flat surfaces are generated we'll see this in 3d Cutting and uh, filling has done automatically. You can observe here clearly. Now let's create roads and paths by using split surface option in massing and site. So go to split surface, select the topo surface. Now go to pick lines option, pick the lines. press tab button yeah. after this we will uh, split the road lines also go to split surface pick line and press tab button that's it yes, now we will see this in 3d So the building pad is different and uh, split surface is different. Split surface uh, make your topo surfaces into two pieces so that you can uh, we can apply different material for this. We'll do it. Go to material and now here I'm going to apply concrete material for this. So here go to concrete and click on apply. That's it. We'll apply for this. Press tab button to select the path and go to concrete option and give ok. That's it. Uh, we'll label the contours now by using uh, label contour option in massing and site. Just uh, fetch the lines like this. along the contour lines automatically uh, the contour values will get generated uh, you can find here 
see 10 9 8 7 6 according to the uh, elevation height we'll get values here in fact uh, you can find exact elevation height at particular points also i have just edit the surface so that you will get points just select them you can find the elevation height here that's how it will work okay so that's pretty much it for this video thank you Thank you.